Glenarvan. Welcome to week two of the Glenarvan Reaper Challenge. So as I've stated before, we're going to use these weekly little lessons to build upon what we've already been working on. So the first week, we practiced our basic shots, and we did very slow work. Slow work, practicing on form, practicing on technique, and practicing on targeting. Uh, this week, we're just going to take it one little step further than that. What we're going to work on is the same thing, but we're going to be throwing them at speed. Now, when I say at speed, I don't mean trying to break your stick. We're going to be throwing them faster than we were last time, but not trying to sit here and uh, break our sticks on our pail. Because again, this is just building upon the technique and the, uh, the uh, precision that you worked on the first week. So one thing I want you to add in this week is when you're throwing these shots at speed, if you're going for the leg or the head or the offside or the wrap shot, I want you to over-exaggerate your shots. And what I mean by that, instead of sitting here just throwing like this, I want you to, when you get in your stance, throw like you're throwing through your target and past it. Now, the reason why I'm a big kind of stickler for this is I find a lot of times whenever you throw short on your pail if you're just sitting there popping and bring your stick back, popping and bring your stick back that you'll even shorten that up when you're throwing full speed whenever you're in a uh, actual fight with an opponent so what I like to try to do is I'll ex over exaggerate my shots whenever I do the mechanics on it that way when I'm throwing at speed and throwing more power behind it I end up whenever I shorten it up I get it right at the right amount so when you stand here and you're going to throw your shots, I want you to sit there and, and really practice like you're pushing through your target. We're not sitting here trying to break our sticks. I'm sitting here using my handy dandy PVC pipe. But when you, I want you to throw at speed. But when you throw it, really practice those body mechanics when you throw it into it. So we're going to sit here. We're going to do 20 on the leg shots. So when you do this. 20 on the head, 20 on the offside, 20 on the outside leg. And again, we're throwing, making sure that we hit each one of the points to break that routine of sitting there throwing the same shots over and over and over, especially all those onsides. I want you to throw those offsides so you get used to those too. And when you throw those wrap shots, really sell. When you step in and you come around, swing it out and make sure that you're bringing it back into you. So over exaggerate, throw them at speed. If you're gonna sit there, throw it okay now we're going to sit here and just do the same thing i know it's not building on much but we have this is more of a uh, marathon than a sprint we've got thousands of more shots to throw so take this step by step over exaggerate throw them at speed we're not really trying to work on power because if you get your speed built up and your technique built up a wise man once told me speed and technique equals power you're going to be hitting harder so this week 20, 20, 20, 20, 20 wraps. Now, if you feel like you can do more than that, minimal 100, go back and try the variations again. Just make sure you're drinking water and don't get tired and sloppy. You need to take a break, take a break. But, again, same shots, thrown at speed, over-exaggerate them a little bit. Remember, try to record yourself so you can go back and watch your footage and see what you're doing. Uh, I've been doing that with my left hand. It's helped me out a lot. I'm far from perfect, but you know what? We're getting there together. So week two, at speed, same shots, over-exaggerate, and I'll see you in week three.